<laughs> oh no! Oh, I planted him in the wrong row. Well, we'll stall him and uh. Watching the Grave Buster take out the graves is pretty cool, though. And you do get money, so there's that. The other thing is a lot of times they just plant the graves up in the, like, f front area that I usually don't plant in unless I'm already, like, set. And I usually don't get myself set that much before, or, I usually don't get myself set very often in the night levels. I'm usually just kind of throwing stuff together all the time. Like, look at this row down here, just one mushroom holding it tight. <laughs> Oh no, Poke! I forgot that I was gonna have to deal with those. Oh no! This might be the end of me here. not. Alright. Just barely getting it with that, uh, walnut there. Alright, sorry for that jump in time there. There was some noise coming from the other room that I had to wait to pass. So, back to the game. Forget what I was doing here for a minute. Alright, pogo stick zombie. Or pole vault zombie. Why did I say pogo stick? Pogo stick zombies are way more annoying. Let me tell you. We'll see them sometime soon. Or not soon, but in a while. Here, we'll throw down another Grave Buster, just cause. Ah! I clicked off of my game. That time it was an accident. Oh man, both of my walnuts on that row are in a hurt box. Put that walnut down. Buster. Will they eat the Grave Buster or will they just walk by it? And now we've gotten rid of all the graves, so that's nice. We'll uh, throw him there. Alright, we're gonna replace this walnut because he. he needs. 
He needs taken off the battlefield. Reconstructive surgery. Something like that. I don't know. Give the top row a little buffer there. All right. Oh, oh, and this walnut's in a hurt box too. So's that one. That's to be expected, really. All right, pole vaulter. That looks like the biggest crop of. What? How did that one survive? Get out of here. Keep all the track of all the plants and zombies you encounter. View plants. Pea shooters are your first line of defense. They shoot peas at attacking zombies. Damage normal. How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Pea shooter says hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well balanced breakfast of sunlight and high fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. We have a little bios for all of these. Yeah. Which is cool. Despite Grave Buster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his off hours volunteering at a local zombie rehabilitation center. It's just the right thing to do, he says. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, these are cool. I enjoy... I'll probably do a little episode where I read all of those. <laughs> Let's see, the zombie, regular garden variety zombie. This zombie loves brains, can't get enough brains, 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 day in and night out. Old stinky brains, question mark, rotten brains, question mark, brains clearly past their prime, question mark, doesn't matter, regular zombie wants them. Newspaper that zombie was this close to finishing his Sudoku puzzle, no wonder he was freaking out. He got a screen door from the last... Inex inexpertly defended home he visited after he ate the homeowner's brains. Alright. Weakness. Alright. So, yeah. I'll probably read more of those as we get more entries. <laughs> Ever played a game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting squirbos? You know those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that. It's, it's, but instead of square bows, it's zombies. Instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. <laughs> Dude, the, the zombies move much faster than they normally do. Like, look at that. They've got, they've got a uh, spring in their gait. They also give you plants on top of that, in case that wasn't crazy, in case the, you know... They also throw up more graves. I think I have to... Oh no, it's like a wave. I was gonna say, I think I have to get rid of all the graves. I don't know why I planted one. Oh, I clicked off my game again. Planted one on the uh, row that doesn't have any graves. I am a silly pants. Get off my grave buster. I guess there goes the qu answer to the question of if the zombies do in fact eat the grave busters. Get out of here. Go home. Not my home, either. 
Every time I go to try and plant something, more of them just pop up. Stop making more graves. Oh, I don't have enough sun for that. There we go. down for some reason just now. I don't know why. Well, let me tell you something here. Zombies, I do not appreciate your hammer stepping towards my home. coming out of hammer space. Oh my god, why are there so many buckets? So many buckets. Powie. <clears throat> well, that was enjoyable. Alright. So now we have the Hypno Shroom. Make zombies fight for you. <laughs> Basically, you plant it and it turns them around. Was oh, this the first time we've seen the football player zombie? I don't think he was. I don't think he was in the last set of levels. All right, so our usual essentials here in the hypno shroom. Let's rock. struggling to come off with things to say. I hate it when that happens. Alright. So far this level has been relaxed, and I... When levels are relaxed, I usually don't have things to say outside of what's happening in the game anyway, because... I don't know, I lack the imagination for good commentary, but... <laughs> um... But when there's nothing happening, there's just... I don't have anything to say at all. <laughs> Oh, let's throw down a fume shroom before this conehead gets here and ruins my day. Throw down this walnut for good measure. Oh no. I think I'm gonna need to plant a potato mine back here. This football guy, his endurance is pretty high, like he's probably gonna eat those. He's gonna eat right through those things. Actually. There we go. Too bad there's nothing approaching on this level, or on that lane. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, as soon as possible, I need a another puff shroom. Well, we'll throw down a fume shroom. And a puff shroom back here, I guess. So yeah, we didn't get to see the zombie, you know, attack the other zombie, but we did get to see it at least turn around and run the other way.
Ow, ow. And suddenly the side of my head hurts. This isn't even that... Come on now. Can't have, you know, body failure now. Oh no. Alright, now we get to see the zombies fight each other. Aha! Alright. Scaredy Shroom. Long range shooter that hides when enemies get near it. Alright. So I'm not the biggest fan of these guys because I feel like, yeah, I have something to plant in the back row like I would a pea shooter, or the back like columns like I would a pea shooter now, but first of all, I feel like I get around whatever range problems I usually have by a. Uh, um. Just using a fume shroom. Second of all, when they get closer, they become the scaredy shrooms quit being useful. There are a lot of graves this time, maybe I should have thrown out a grave buster. Oh well. Oh, whatever. Thankfully, that zombie will probably be dead before he ever gets close. Let's see? Although I see why there are so many graves now that, uh, now that I think about it. Kinda makes you use the scaredy shroom. I'm sorry if you can hear the hooligan cruising up and down the road on the dirt bike there. Can't really do anything about that. At least it's not a siren or something. Like, well, like a lot of people I watch happen to live in a city and you can always hear like sirens and stuff. It's not too terribly distracting. It just worries me that sometimes it's coming from, you know, my world and not the one captured in the video. That was a weird way to put it, but I think I made my point. Oh. to throw a scaredy shroom on that row. Excuse me. I'm gonna throw another puff shroom at that grave there. See, I don't know what the space, like, threshold for being close means. Like, if a zombie is in front of the walnut eating it, will the scaredy shroom just not do anything? Because if so, 